What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I am uh, doing what I do, which is keep pounding away at it. Keep working. Bust your ass. Yesterday was my birthday. Shout out to everybody that wished me a happy birthday. I really and truly appreciate that. It was a wonderful day seeing the New York Giants get the crap kicked out of them and uh, spend time with great friends and family. It was the perfect birthday. Um, I am now 56 years old. I have been around for every Super Bowl. I'm the same age as the Super Bowl, in fact. I don't remember the first couple of Super Bowls, but I was alive for them. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. I'm old enough that I have seen a lot of the greatest Dallas Cowboys in history. And I want to tell you about one of the great ones. You know, I've seen Tony Dorsett running. I remember that 99-yard touchdown run. I remember seeing Emmett Smith separate his shoulder. And will the Dallas Cowboys to victory. But um, I'm not here to talk about either of those two. We're here to talk about a rookie sensation that we had. As a rookie, we had one of the greatest rookie seasons in history. Dude came out and rushed 1,631 yards and 15 touchdowns as a rookie. And was an absolute positive beast. But there's a funny thing that happens with running backs. They always say, you don't draft running backs high because they don't last. And I guess if you're looking at the New York Giants right now, that ended up taking, what, the number number two pick? Getting Barkley? You, you may have to actually say that that may be true because Barkley's only got, he, he's under 2,500 yards in his career. And coming back from an injury, I don't know how severe it is this time, but he, he just can't seem to get going and stay going. And I'm not, believe me, I don't wish injuries on any player. What happened yesterday to the Giants, you know what? I'd rather the Dallas Cowboys kick their ass, kick their teeth in, with Daniel Jones, Barkley, and Galladay all there on the field. Because that makes it that much sweeter. Then There's no excuses that are made. You know what I'm saying? So this running back, he came out like gangbusters. But what happens to running backs typically is the fourth year is the pinnacle. That's the peak. From that point on, they all go downhill. Y'all remember DeMarco Murray. He had that 1,800-yard season for the Cowboys. They didn't resign him because they were going by that philosophy of you don't pay running backs. And they let him go to the Eagles. Now, he was in the league for about another four years, but he never did get anywhere close to that 1,800 yards again. Clearly, that season was the beginning of the end of DeMarco Murray. And they said the same thing about this guy. They said he's done. That the Cowboys wasted money because the Cowboys went against the philosophy and they paid him. They paid him and then he started dropping off the cliff.
his season after getting paid when he was supposed to be the bellwether back he ended up with 979 yards and only six touchdowns and was one of the highest paid running backs in the nfl and it looked like maybe the team should look to trade him or i'll not just release him that's what the experts said experts said he's done boy the cowboys they're stupid again they're freaking idiots he'll never rebound he's gotten slow he's been beat up look at todd Gurley. look what happened to him the rams paid him arthritic knees barkley couldn't even get out the starting gates Cowboys screw up again. But you know what's funny? That running back right now seems to be having the last lap. For all those out there that said Zeke Elliott is done, that the Cowboys wasted money, all the experts, you know, it was funny listening to Colin Cowherd last week saying that, you know, well, the Cowboys, they got rid of Jalen Smith and stuff, that now their contracts, they're not so bad. They just have an overpaid running back. He's getting paid too much. But that's okay because they're okay in the other areas. Well, here's what's funny. Week one. Zeke Elliott only had like 30 yards against Tampa Bay's defense. 30 yards. And they said they were pounding their chest. See what we told you? Zeke's done. He didn't get 30 yards. He's a waste of money for the Cowboys. <laughs> we are so smart. We know our shit. And you know we know our shit. I looked at the numbers. And you know, against the Tampa Bay defense, there's only two running backs that got over 50 yards last year. Most running backs had less than 20 yards against that Tampa Bay defense. Hold on, let me turn, the, turn this down. And I said... He's not done yet. Not done. But the experts said, well, in today's NFL, with Dak Prescott and the receivers, he's a dinosaur. The Cowboys don't need him. He's still a waste of money. You know what's funny? Zeke Elliott, right now, coming off his second 100-yard game in a row, five rushing touchdowns, is on pace for over 1,500 yards. Fifteen hundred yards, which would be second most. Second most in his career. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, that's just because he's getting more carries this year. Well, actually, crazy thing is his yard average. Right now is 5.3 yards a carry. That's 0.2 yards better than when he was a young spry Zeke Elliott. And that would be only the second time that he's been over five yards per carry. And right now, 
He's on pace for 16 touchdowns. It, it's kind of funny to me how the experts, the guys that are talking heads, how much they're always seeming to know everything about the Dallas Cowboys, what the Cowboys are doing wrong, how bad the Cowboys are. They always seem to have the input. But the funny thing is, they never seem to be right. Remember when they always said that Dak Prescott, oh, Dak Prescott, he's a bus driver. He's a tier three quarterback. Carson Wentz now. That's an NFL quarterback. That's a guy who can do things that other quarterbacks can't. Yeah. Show you're right. Show you're right. Well, I'm glad we got Zeke on our team. And at the Dallas Cowboys aren't listening to the talking heads out there because if we did we'd have guys like Jamal Adams on the roster we would have taken the picks that we gave us for C.D. Lamb and Micah Parsons to get a box safety that certainly hasn't made the Seattle Seahawks defense any better Yep, I'm old enough to remember that great running back, Zeke Elliott. Maybe one of these days you'll see somebody just like him. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm enjoying this day. I'll see you soon.